to another Hot Toy custom video. Today will be the painting of the T-800 from the first Terminator movies. For people that don't know, you basically need to have the button cell batteries constantly on to give the light effect on the endoskeleton eye there. And, you know, I was just dusting my collection pretty much and I've always disliked how these guys have a dead stare. And just for a bit of background, these are heavily customized by myself. I've done a video regarding what I've done with these two guys. And I'll pop that at the end and in the description down below so you can check it out. I mostly touch on the pleather update. I think that's more in depth where I explain what I've done regarding the body and the weathering and whatnot. And what I'm basically going to be using is this, which is an antonized color. It is red, obviously. I've seen a couple of people use this for blood effects as well, which I might do in the future now, but I thought it would be interesting to use this and give it a try on the eyes. Instead of me doing what I usually do, which is just mix reds with blacks and trying to get a color I prefer and then gloss coating it. I think this is probably a much easier step because it's just one process. But as you can see, the eyes do have that dead stare. And that has always been a problem with Hot Toys where they just use a clear plastic instead of the color that it should be illuminating. Like this should be a red clear plastic instead of just, you know, no color at all. And it's the same with this guy here. And if you guys did see at the back there, I have the Technor version there because something recently has happened to that figure, which I was kind of dreading upon. You know, it's happened to pretty much all the figures. And it's that the pleather is starting to completely rot on that guy. And if you guys do own that, you will know he has button studs. Basically throughout the whole back. And I have to re-glue that and peel shit off. And that's just going to be a whole mess. But uh, enough about that guy there. What I'm going to do is focus on these two today. And... Yeah, just really, really quickly touch up the eyes and see how it goes. So if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you like and sub. And we'll pretty much skip now to the end results.
So I'm back from using the antidized spray and it overall was successful everywhere else but the eye. So I'll zoom in a little bit close to the head sculpt here. The eye is not red, you know, and I think that's just the problem of how the plastic is casted. I think the way for me to do this in the future, and it's probably even more risky than doing what I just did now, is to paint the clear acrylic plastic white and then go over it with this blood effect. But then you might bleed too much white, you might bleed too much red with that point. I don't even know if it's even worth it at the end to risk it. But everywhere else I did basically retouch everywhere red. And I think it's turned out really, really good. So I've just hit really, really harsh lighting just to see the blood effect a bit more prominent. You know, the chest there, the arms, especially where the endo forearm bit is exposed. This is really, really gruesome, this part. I think I really nailed that look there. I didn't do too much on the gloves because I think the way Hot Toys did it was fine. Obviously, you got the bullet point on the upper thigh there. That looks really good. But yeah, mixing this spray can paint with the paint I did, it gives a two-toned blood color now and it looks really, really good. And then I got the gash where the neck is. It's a shame, yeah, I couldn't do the eyes as good, but overall, I think I've done a pretty good job here. And yeah, if you want to see more in depth regards to what body I used and how I've restored this leather, I've done a previous video pretty much on that. And yeah, that's pretty much it with these two. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed overall that I couldn't get the achieved results, but... I think for the future, this is a good way for me to use the blood effect. Instead of mixing colors myself, I just use the antidized chrome red. I think it's much easier to just spray that in a can or a cup and just apply it with paintbrush instead of mixing stuff constantly. And then on top of that, acrylic gloss coat. I think as of now, these are as good as these guys are going to get. I don't think there's any need to customize these two anymore if anything i'm more scared for that guy down there you know i'm a bit worried about him and how he's going to turn out you know i don't even want to look at him because it's just going to start rotting <laughs> but uh yeah hopefully again my modular cases will be here and a lot of these guys that are horror are going to go there and it will give enough room for my details to have more of a less packed look. And yeah, overall, I can't wait until they come. Obviously, expect a video of me not building them, but maybe have them completed. And I'll talk about the process before I start throwing these guys in there. Right, that was just a quick little video about the blood effects here. And that's pretty much it. If you guys did enjoy this... Make sure you like and sub, and I'll see you in the next one.